and welcome to this episode of the video. Today I will introduce the multi-agent multi system I developed which might meet the complex uh, task requirements of users. We input a um, multi-step task such as finding the most famous animal in Chengdu, drawing it and sending it to my email. You can see that the system automatically breaks down the task into multiple steps then executes them sequentially and finally fulfills my request. Efficiently handling complex multi-step tasks is always a challenge. This is especially true when dealing with dynamically changing environments where traditional methods often struggle to adjust task plans flexibly. Therefore, today I introduce a how to use the multi-agent development framework LangGraph combined with a plan and execute concept to address the above challenges. Suppose you have a task such as performing uh, complex uh, data queries, uh, generating reports, or completing a series of dependent operations. These tasks uh, often require pre-planning for each step and uh, then executing them one by one. Uh, during execution, tasks might need to be adjusted dynamically due to changes in external conditions. A simple step-by-step -step execution method is insufficient to address such comple complexity, highlighting the value of the plan and execute model. The plan and execute model is designed to solve these issues. It divides a task into two main parts, plan and execute, allowing for flexibility in responding to task changes. In the planning phase, the system generates a complete multi-step plan. In the execution phase, tasks are executed one by one, with the plan being dynamically adjusted after each step based on the results known as replan. The advantage of this approach is that it not only handles complex uh, multi-step tasks, but also adapts task plans flexibly to changes in the environment or task results, ensuring smooth task com completion. Firstly, let's look at the agent.pi file, uh, which defines the multiple agents used in the system. Agents are one of the core concepts in the plan and the execute model. Each agent uh, has a specific task, such as generating images, searching uh, online, or sending emails. In agent.py, we create these agents uh, through the create your React the, uh, agent function, which integrates large language model LM and the tool chains like the tabular search tool and the drawing tools. Each agent is responsible for performing specific tasks, such as conducting online searches using tabular or generating images with OpenAI's API. The draw agent TH executor handles image generation tasks, while the email agent data executor takes care of sending emails. Uh, during actual task execution, these agents uh, automatically invoke relevant tools based on user input and the task requirements to complete tasks. Now let's examine the task generation and dynamic adjustment logic in plan.py. The core components for task generation and execution are the planner and the replanner responsible for generating the initial multi-step task plan and dynamically adjusting the plan during task execution, respectively. Planner is the starting point of the whole task. Upon receiving a user's request, the planner generates a complete plan based on task requirements, breaking the task down into multiple steps. Alongside generating the plan, the planner also returns the agent names uh, corresponding to each step. In the plan data structure, steps represent each task step, and the planner maps these steps to specific agents uh, such as a search online agent, generate the image on agent, etc., and returns this to the task flow system. And this way, we clearly know which agent should execute which task. It's essential to note that the planner executes only once at the initial stage of the task. The generated plan is solely for initial task allocation, and during subsequent task executions, 
the system no longer calls the planner for planning, but uses the replanner for dynamic uh, adjustments. Firstly, let's take a look at the plan catch step method. This method is used to generate a complete task plan by invoking the planner based on the user's input. This step is executed only once, and the generated task plan is stored in the system's state for subsequent executions. Now let's look into the graph building in graph.pi. Initially examining the plan step method, this method generates a complete task plan based on user input by invoking the planner executed only once. The generated plan consisting of several steps where each is executed by the corresponding agent. Next, we execute the planned steps uh, sequentially in the execute logic step. Next is execute logic step, uh, the core part uh, of task execution. It extracts the current task uh, from the plan and sends a message to the corresponding agent to execute the task. Um, task execution results are also recorded in the state for subsequent processing. Uh, here, we can see how the system formats tasks uh, into instructions uh, and uh, sends them to specific agents uh, like search the agent of the executor. The agent returns execution results, which the system stores in pass launch steps, uh, recording task completion status. During task execution, if some tasks uh, fail to complete as expected, the system calls the uh, replant such the step method. A significant feature of the plan and the execute model is dynamically adjusting task plans. Based on current task progress, the system replans subsequent task steps to ensure eventual task completion. Here, the system checks task execution status and decides whether to call replanner to update the taskable plan. This dynamic adjustment mechanism ensures task flexibility and adaptability. Additionally, inspecting the should and all the agents function, this function checks whether the current task is completely done. If all tasks are completed, the system will return end, ending the task flow. Otherwise, it will return the next agent's name to execute. Uh, this conditional judgment guides the system in deciding the next agent to execute step by step, such as if the plan includes image generation and email sending. The system calls the respective agents until all tasks are done. In graph.py, building the task flow is achieved through add node and add.edge methods. Each task node represents a task step like search online, talk agent, generate log image agent, and a send on the email uh, agent. Through add edge, these task nodes are sequentially connected for execution. Meanwhile, add conditional edges is for setting conditional edges. Uh, conditional edges ensure the system can dynamically switch to the next task or end the task flow based on task execution results. This way, we construct a flexible task flow capable of adapting dynamically to actual task execution scenarios. The get next alter agent your name is the core function for custom conditional judgment. It checks the current task in the plan to decide the next executing agent. Uh, during task execution, the system calls this function to choose the appropriate agent for the next task. Here, based on the agent uh, name contained in the first step of the current plan, it determines which agent node to execute. This function returns the agent name described in the task plan, ensuring each task step is executed by the correct agent until all tasks are completed. Finally, we run the entire task flow. In the system, all tasks execute according to the planned order with dynamic adjustments made during execution as necessary. This process can be managed using the app.stream method to handle event streams, progressively outputting a task execution results. Now let's run the task flow. The system will execute each task sequentially based on the task of the plan and adjust the plan if needed. 
In this manner, the plan and execute model efficiently handles complex uh, task scenarios. Now let's run plan and uh, execute.py to see the actual task execution process. We enter a multi-step task such as searching for the most famous animal in Chengdu, generating a drawing, and sending it to my email. You can see that once a task is completed, uh, the system updates the task state based on the task results and continues executing the subsequent tasks. Uh, the system first calls the planner to generate the task plan, showing the three main steps, defining the complete task chain from online searching, image generation to email sending, demonstrating how tasks are handled through agents. Then, execute task step one, search for the most famous animal, successfully obtaining the result, the giant panda, as Chengdu's most famous animal. Next, execute task step two, generate a picture of the giant panda, where the system calls generate image agent, generating a giant panda picture and returning the image URL. Then execute task step three, send the generated picture to the user's email, where the system calls the send an email agent using the generated image URL to successfully send the email to the user's inbox. Lastly, the system outputs a summary notifying the user that the task was successfully complete. Meanwhile, we can see graph.tng in the project directory showcasing the overall architecture of the current graph. Today, we delved into the working principles and implementation of the plan and execute model. The core idea of this model is to plan the task first and execute it step by step while dynamically adjusting the task plan based on execution status. This makes it very efficient in handling complex multi-step tasks. The plan and execute model that has vast application prospects, uh, especially in the scenarios requiring multi-step long-term planning, like information retrieval, automated data processing, etc. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding the, the, this model's implementation, feel free to comment below. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with more people so we can explore more technological applications together. Thank you for watching. See you next time.